Come on through, guys. It's okay. You're safe. If I've had my medication, I won't. Um, you can you can sit at the dining table. You can stand in the lounge. You can whatever you're happy with. Okay, so Aline's giving me the thumbs up and good people. Now this home may not be perfect, but it's so close, it really, really scares me because I've sold a lot of houses in Auckland over the last 15 years and this is a home that you can build on with a family and life for sure. Now. Team Tina with Jaden and the rest of the tribe. Tina's here in person. Uh, greetings and salutations. Apparently I'm not allowed to say ladies and gentlemen anymore because that's too gender specific. So whatever your pronoun and your association is that you're happy with, then welcome one, welcome all to the live auction of number 136 Mellons Bay Road. Now Mellons Bay is one of those, those locations if you're not living here, if you're living somewhere else in Auckland, they say that you are temporarily camping. Now, 1,242 square metres of park-like setting that literally faces due north. Um, so, you know, the potential moving forward is stunning, but why would you muck around with near to perfection? It's lot number one, deposit of plan 39503, record of title, no changes. The chattel list is beyond reproach. It's actually longer than my GST return, and that's extensive. I claim everything. Um, but the good news here, you get to check those chattels a couple of days prior to settlement. But for Juliet and Richard uh, and their beautiful family, they guarantee that it's all going to be in good working order. Now, to demystify this conduct of auction, sometimes people think that I can, I don't know, play hocus pocus at an auction. No, I'm just here to count a few numbers. But I will nominate the bids, may refuse a bid, temper any quarrels, but uh, we're here to work with everybody and not upset the good friendly locals. Now, I have two telephone bidders. They've completed all the paperwork to my satisfaction. I sometimes people think that they're dummy. No, that's against the law. We do not break the law. Um, and I have to sign on their behalf as much as I would love to own this property. I would probably get in, in trouble with my, my beautiful, long-suffering wife. Uh, there are other registrations as well, so this is the domain of the cash buyers. If we sell, we sell. That's what we're here to do, but if not, no problem. We price the property um, and we deal with multi-offers post-auction. Literally, you can take an orderly queue at the letterbox if we don't sell, but our owners are here to do that. Property can be withdrawn from the market at any point in time. Guys, it's a really important provision. I don't make any choices for our good sellers, some of the finest people that God has ever drawn breath into. But if we don't meet the reserve, quite often I talk to the highest bidder. I could be talking to that good gentleman out back in the blue colourway cap. Good day to be playing golf, boss. I wish I was, but no, I'm working. Um, now, if I adjourn to talk to the highest bidder, the property can be sold at any point in time. I don't make any decisions. So to avoid any disappointment, all I suggest, if you see interest, hold the highest bid versus waiting to see what happens because sometimes you can get what Paddy's shot at. Now, our owners have listened to your unbridled, unfiltered feedback around value. Subject to meeting or toppling their reserve, we'll ask you to sign the contract, pay the deposit one-tenth. We're probably going to give you a handshake, a hug, or a congratulatory selfie, whatever takes your fancy. We'll give you a copy of the contract, you can pay your deposit, and then I'll tell you what, you're going to move in here on the 18th of September 2023. And look, I've got in-laws that are not very impressed with me, but even it would impress my in-laws owning a home of this calibre. Now, everyone looks pretty happy, pretty comfortable to move forward. Beautiful. Now, it's like the Taj Mahal of the street when you turn up. I saw this property online and I thought it's a stunning home and it does not comprehend when you turn up here, it's functional, it's got form, where family can build on a life. This home personifies happiness. We love our kids and family, do we not? But sometimes you need a bit of social or intellectual distancing. There's living spaces for living people. We're a well-balanced diet as a Heineken in both hands. 
sitting out there on your deck with the pool where you can always find trouble. Now, you've got your um, perfection upstairs where dreams certainly come true. I've lost count to the bathrooms as you can ascend that stairway to heaven, facing when you get sun from dawn to dusk, fully fenced to keep you safe and secure. And sir, the little rugrats, they can run free range on the back lawn and find the lost art in playing climb a tree. There's no excuse for a poor meal in this gourmet kitchen. The scullery, look, I could go on all day. It's hard to beat. Tell me where there's a better home uh, with all this land, with good friendly neighbours who know your name and they stay out of your business. I offer you the best of the best, pretty much. That's why you're here today. And uh, I just say this, it's real pride and privilege, but who's going to show me the money? Opening bidder offer, where do you see value? That is the question, uh, because my words do this property no justice at all. Where do we say go? Just remember the age of the auctioneer. Thank you, sir. Good luck in your endeavours. Yeah, modern insulation to boot, eh? You can share your love of music with neighbours whether they like it or not. But at 2.5, good luck to you. At 2.5 million, I bid it away for a little 100,000 on the rise. Sir, you got the brochure there? Do you? No, I just, just, I'm just doing my job and asking. What about this beautiful couple here at 2.5 million at a bid now? What about my Callaway man? 2.6. Well, I'll ask him where he plays golf after this, but at 2.6 million with the gentleman out back, plenty of room to. Sir, you can, you can probably play a little wob, lob wedge from the front lawn to the back lawn. That'd be about 70 yards, a little 56er for you, I'd say. But at 2.6 million at a bid. Sir, do you bid 2.7? 2.7. Oh, thank you to the telephone buyer at 2.7. So the market's here at 2.7 and 2.8. He looks real relaxed at 2.8 million at a bid now. For, yeah, yeah, yes, thank you, Tina. Beautiful at 2.8 million. 2,800,000, only 10% down today. A home that borrows from the past but squarely resides in the future. You've got to love all those family portraits there when you can hang your own. And uh, I've got to find out, sir, it's a pretty good lawn, isn't it? Greener than Jag Green, that lawn out there. But at 2.8 million, it'll be now. So you get to 3 million, would you not? But uh, happy to follow suit at 2. Point why not? Because I wish I had 2850000 No, my bank does, but at 2.9 with a gentleman on the counter on the advance at 2.99 at a bid. At 2.9 million, I chased down a little 50 on the rise, on the climb, but at 2.9... I tried to count up how many car parks you could park, and I just literally lost count. You can certainly... 2.9. That's what we already have. Oh, not quite 50. Yeah. 2.9. Do you give me a little 50? 2.9 and 50. Yeah, good. That, that's a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I just want to make sure because sometimes people go, oh, you know, I just, yeah, clarity, good. At 2,950,000, good luck to those that are online too. I chased down a little $3 million and 3 million on the counter on the advance. At 3, 3 at a bit now. At 3 and a whole lot of zeros. Yes, thank you, Tina. <laughs> At three million, fairly bitted down. Cash, Kiwi dollars, every one of them. You've got to love the clean lines of the linear, don't you? To protect you from the four seasons in one day. Another 50. Another 50. Appreciate the advance at 3050. At 3 million and 50, 50 at a bit now. Hard to replace. Have you ever met anyone who regrets living in Mellons Bay? Like, does that person actually exist? We've got some good, friendly neighbours. Are you guys neighbours? Well, you kind of look like it because you're pretty... Yeah, friends, OK. At 3 million and 50 at a bit now. St George in London. And, and there I, I haven't even mentioned the schooling at 3.050 at a bit now. Is it 3.1? That's what I'm searching. I'm chasing down at a bit now. I say once, sir, clearly not a affordable issue for you. Would you bid me $3.1 million? Because opportunities are not lost. They are just taken by somebody else. George, what happened to your telephone buyer? They didn't even sort of get out of the blocks. Just, well, I'm not too sure what this means. But anyway, at 3 million and 50, 50, at a bit now. I say once at 3.050, at a bit now. I say twice is the money is the offer at 3 million and 50,000 dollars. 
For those that are hiding, sir, love the man bag. Just asking, would you have a little flurry for me? Third and final call. I got your smile at three million and fifty fifty at a bit now. Well, okay, team, that is below my selling instructions, and that's okay. Um, I'm going to refer that to my owners. Um, we're going to have a conversation with the highest bidder. At any point in time, the property can be sold. So if you see value north yep. of... I just confirmed oh. that's asked. Yeah. Um, the property can be withdrawn and sold at any point in time. So, yeah, if you see value higher, then... Uh, Forever hold your breath, so to speak, but at 3 million 50 50 at a bit now. Is it 3.1? I look high, low, I go, I go. Right, our team. Well, we're going to hit pause on the live stream. Um, to all parties, hold tight. I'll be back to you very, very soon. Thank you.
I just uh, fair to say that we are perilously close. Um, so again, I'm still at 3.2. Now, if someone did still see value north of that number, I would appreciate if you could let me know. Um, so then our owners can make a good informed decision because if I walk out and say that it's sold, mm. I don't want anyone getting upset with me like they do at my house. Um, if that's okay, could, um, Payne and Sherry, could you check with the man on the phone? Or yeah. just watch He's one.
Just uh, waiting for some uh, information to come through, guys. It's always important that uh, situations like this never get lost in translation. And you're just going to do the last 10 seconds for me. Okay. adding to the drama. <laughs> um, fellas, good socks too, by the way. Yeah, you guys. Beautiful. Uh, Rightio, team. So thank you very much for your efforts. It's always... Some days, to be honest, I don't like my job. But I tell you what, today is one of those exceptions, and I'm just envious of the buyer who is owning this property. Imagine the stories these hallowed walls could tell. But anyway, Tina, what has transpired, uh, the gentleman there has given me an offer at an acceptable level to our sellers. So as per 2.6 in the auction agreement, well, we'll say it for dramatic effect, eh? Not a whisper, not a murmur, syllable, nor a sound. You list with Team Tina, it is going, it is going, it is Sold to Jaden's buyer. Uh, to all other parties, thank you very much for coming. That concludes another successful auction. Have a memorable afternoon. If you can't be good, be really bad like Sheree and keep it quiet. Thank you very much.